Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Mark Twain said, If you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Case in point, Joe Biden, whose entire career was based on saying things that weren't true and then blaming his faulty memory. Joseph Biden may have more explaining to do. The new questions stem from With taped remarks of, of Biden States. during an April campaign appearance in New Hampshire. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only needed 123 credits. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Joe Biden ranked 76th in a class of 85 at the University of Syracuse Law School. I mean, this guy comes off this whole thing as a flyweight. Now Biden says Newsweek is right. His memory had failed him. And then during the 2020 campaign, Joe Biden said that survival of the planet depended on him being elected president. Vice President Biden, two minutes to you uninterrupted. Climate change and climate warming, the global warming is an existential threat to humanity. We have a moral obligation to deal with it. And we're told by all the leading scientists in the world, we don't have much time. We're going to pass the point of no return within the next eight to 10 years. Four more years of this man eliminating all the regulations that were put in by us to clean up the climate, to clean up, to limit the, the uh, limit of emissions, will put us in a position where we're going to be in real trouble. But the New York Times tells a completely different story. The New York Times says, thanks to astonishing declines in the price of renewables, a truly global political mobilization, a clearer picture of the energy future, and serious policy focus from world leaders, we've cut expected warming almost in half in just five years. So according to the New York Times, we've already been saved from global warming catastrophe and most of this progress was made while Donald Trump was president. Because Donald Trump was the president for three of the last five years. But reality is that neither Joe Biden nor the New York Times are telling the truth. Despite decades of so-called global climate agreements, the growth of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has continued to accelerate unabated. The annual rate of growth of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has more than doubled over the last 30 years since governments started making these fake climate agreements. There isn't one shred of evidence to support the idea that anything has changed. The rate of growth of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is about the same when Joe Biden's in the White House as when Donald Trump's in the White House. It doesn't make a whit of difference. And the rate of growth of fossil fuel usage around the world has continued to increase unabated. Coal, oil, and natural gas provide the world with the vast majority of its energy, while wind and solar are making almost no progress. Neither of the contradictory fake stories being told by Joe Biden and the New York Times have any basis in reality. Booker T. Washington said, a lie doesn't become truth, wrong doesn't become right, and evil doesn't become good just because it is accepted by a majority. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the big climate lie for the past 15 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki Upla, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.